So what we want to do is we want to play this exchange for you guys. It's not really long, only about a minute or so. We want to play the exchange for you now, and then want to come back and react to this exchange. Here. Take a listen to Chris Broussard and Nick Wright in this soundbite. Take a listen to that there. Hey, here's the thing. It, a huge portion of the NBA media business is about protecting Michael Jordan. So it wouldn't shock me if some of the NBA's Stop actual it. business it's not, is, that that's is not, not about true. Brew. It's not about Brew. I'm just about saying Bruce. in general. Right to his face. In okay. general, it's not true. Said, uh, the, uh, no, okay, it, I disagree. It's not true. I disagree. I think that people would say the, that half the, the, the young, new media the, protects LeBron. Okay. Oh, you man. know what? It's like, I'm just you know saying, I don't think. And you want to know something? I think there are reporters out there calling it like I think there are some. You're right. And I agree with you. <laughs> that there is some factions of the media that are invested in protecting LeBron. And y y I would imagine you would agree with me. There are some factions of the media that are invested in protecting Michael Jordan. It's just my opinion. Maybe he hangs out with them in sky boxes or not. And maybe he's, he's all of a sudden a huge part of the nostalgia of how they came up in the media or sports reporting world. Maybe they're all Chicago based. I don't know. It's just how I've consumed basketball my whole life. I don't even know life. what you're talking about now. Just okay. <laughs> that's well, the audience. To the point that I was trying to make. So you heard the exchange there. This is why you need somebody like uh, Chris Broussard on that show. This is the exact reason you need someone like a Chris Broussard in that show. If Chris Broussard wasn't on that show, Nick Wright would run amok. In my personal opinion, Kevin Wiles, who also seems to not be able to tolerate some of the stuff that Nick Wright does. I believe he lets him off the hook too many times because I think he just gets fed up in Nick. He's like, Nick is like, what do you have to say? He's like, nah, just forget it, man. I, I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength to deal with this guy. I don't have the zeal to, to compete with this guy today. I mean, the minute you start, the minute you start debating him, all of a sudden, honey, he starts throwing honey at you. Like, I don't, I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength to deal with this honey slinging uh, uh, twerker over here. I don't, know, I, I don't know what to do with him, right? But Chris Broussard always comes ready for him. And this is something that Chris has done historically. Whenever Nick Wright will be up there trying to twerk it up for LeBron James and spit all kind of nonsense all over the TV screen, Chris Broussard would always shut him down. To Nick Wright's point, really? Really, bro? Who are these people? Who? Who are these people? These Jordan support. You see, here's what it is. What happened was this. The consensus was MJ's the GOAT. And then something interesting happened. Nick Wright had his big break on television, and it happened in 2016 when he went on Undisputed, when Shannon Sharp was there. And it's still his most viewed, single most viewed clip today on YouTube. It has millions of views. He went on, which means it must have had a lot of views on television. He went on there and said in 2016, after LeBron won his third championship, that LeBron had officially surpassed Michael Jordan. It was such an outlandish take that it caused everyone to turn and say, who is this guy? Who is this guy? And from that point forward, you have had one person after the other coming up there talking about Jordan's to go. Who came next? Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp came now. All of a sudden, he miraculously turned into a LeBron James support. Then who came after him? Colin Cowherd. You used to have shows on under, on on uh, Speak for Yourself with Cowan Coward basically taking a shot at Jordan any time he had a chance. Saying why LeBron is better than Jordan. Then you have Colin Coward. Then after him, you had Ryan Hollins, who is the biggest joke. Then you had Kendrick Perkins that came uh, after him to go up there. And then you had this guy, this annoying guy. I can't stand it. I can't stand him. Uh, he's a Laker fan. He has a really annoying voice. He used to fill in on Undisputed a time to time. Uh, the the guy with the curly hair. I can't. I can't remember his name. Just a really annoying guy. He was up there twerking it up. I can't remember. Now he works with Colin Cowherd uh, on his show. I forgot his name. Then he came, and then you now started having all these people on ESPN and all of these stuff, all these publications now writing these articles and you had people on TV every small thing LeBron James did LeBron James they're like well what's going on here and then what happened was you had some guys that thought Jordan was the go and like okay pump the brakes here Jordan is the go like cut it out and they would start pushing back on some of these assertions that these guys would make because they knew they weren't really good arguments and that's where the pushback started to begin and then Nick right now tries to characterize the pushback 
to his nonsense as these guys are in the media are here to defend LeBron. 